green light. Manifestation edition. Have you seen Squid Games yet? That everyone is talking about and the game that there is is red light, green light. So today we're gonna do red light, green light, manifestation edition. I'm gonna share with you seven do's and don'ts if you want to manifest anything into your life whether that's a partner a house a car a job health happiness and pay attention to the seven don'ts because if you're doing any of these right now you're actually blocking your manifestations from coming into your life and we don't want that hi my name is mia i'm a mindset and manifestation expert coaching women all around the world to let go of what's holding them back and truly become their highest self to manifest the life of their dreams. And today I'm here to help you become a manifesting beast by giving you the seven do's and don'ts in manifestation. So let's get to it. First one, red light. Don't be indecisive. When you're indecisive, you're giving off different vibrations to the universe. There's a difference between being clear on the, let's say, a type of car that you want to manifest. What's the make, the model, the interior? What color is it? How does it feel to sit inside it? Whereas if you're just saying, I want a new car, well, a new car could mean anything from a Range Rover to a Toyota to Kia to Mazda, whatever that is. Be really specific on the make, the model, the color, the interior, what additions there are. So clarity is key. In manifestations because if you're not clear you have energy flowing into many places now as you've heard probably where focus goes energy flows so you want to put your focus on that one specific thing that you want to manifest get really really clear on the type of person you want to manifest the type of house the type of car the type of job you want to manifest and don't be indecisive maybe switching it up every day what you're manifesting about it or one day it's an apartment the other day it's a house you know one day it's by the beach the next day it's by the mountains because then the universe will be like heck i don't know what to bring to you because you can't make up your mind so get clear on what you want and focus on that. Number two, red light. Don't expect your manifestations to just fall into your lap suddenly. It's not the snap of a finger and then your manifestation is here. As important as the law of attraction and law of vibration are, as important is the law of action. So taking actions. If you're just sitting in your home on your bed and closing your eyes like, oh, my dream partner, my dream partner, my dream partner, and then you open your eyes, it's not gonna be there. It can't be there because you haven't even gone out the house. Your door is locked. It's like you're ordering something from Amazon and they're delivering to your house, but you don't go to open up the door, then you won't receive your package. Don't expect things to just fall down to you. Start to take daily aligned action towards your manifestations. Now the next one is red light. Don't frantically chase your manifestations. Don't try to make it happen and control every little detail and control the outcome. It's important to take action, but it's also important not to micromanage your manifestation. You don't need to know every how it will show up, every detail that will happen for you to receive your manifestations. And instead, green light is to do trust the universe and know that it's always got your back. It's always working for you. It's always helping you out and trust that it will maybe even have something greater planned for you than you can even dream of. Let the universe work its magic. Number four, red light. Don't ignore your subconscious mind. It's gonna make or break your manifestations. And this is not talked about often, but your subconscious is manifesting 24 seven. So it's not just doing affirmations five minutes in the morning, looking at your vision boards and doing your manifestation tools, but it's also realizing that what do you do the rest of the day? What are you thinking about? What are you talking about? Are you complaining? Are you blaming? Are you criticizing? Are you belittling yourself? So look within yourself and look to your past about manifestation blocks that might be there. Whether it's you don't believe that you're good enough, you don't believe that you're capable or that you deserve love or that you deserve to be successful. Or maybe you have a belief that money equals conflict or the loss of love or money only comes with hard work. There's so many beliefs that may be running the game in the back of your mind without you realizing that. So it's very, very important to realize that your subconscious is manifesting 24 seven. So it's not about only what you do consciously 
obviously, but also can you let go of the old? Can you clear the limiting beliefs and the old patterns from your subconscious and build a new identity? Now, this is something that I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients is I help them to clear their subconscious filters to become the person that has their desires. So that manifestation can become easy for you. Number five, red light. Don't limit yourself thinking that your way is the only way and your outcome is the only outcome to get that money or that love or that job that you desire. Green lights, do trust that the universe has better plans than yours. So let's say you want to manifest more money. Let's say 500 euros. Now, maybe in your mind, you're saying, okay, I can only get 500 euros in this way. So I'm gonna manifest it this way. But realize that the universe could send you money from an unexpected source. It could be in the form of a random refund or whatever that is, but trust that the universe can bring that manifestation in a completely different way than you expected and even better than you expected. Number six, red light. Don't be too attached to your manifestations. What does that mean? It means that if you have your manifestation, let's say you're manifesting your dream job. If your manifestation is right here and you are currently here because you don't have it, you're wanting to manifest that dream job. Now, if you're very attached to your manifestation, it means it's, it's like you're nothing without it. It's saying that you're not enough without that thing. So if your vibration is of without that job, I'm not enough. Without that job, I'm not happy or without that job i'm not fulfilled you will stay here you will not become the vibration of your desires meaning you will not manifest that dream job so you want to detest yourself from the outcome and say i'm happy now i'm enough right now and that having that is just a bonus the person you want to be who has that dream job what's her vibration like what is she thinking about what are her words what are her beliefs what are her habits what are her decisions put yourself to the level of the person that has that dream job and don't think that you need that job to be happy or fulfilled or at peace in life having that job is just who you are you're setting the manifestation you're setting the intention but then let it go number seven red light don't start and stop Meaning, don't lose momentum and fall back into your old patterns. Because when you do that, it's a clue that either you don't believe in your manifestation or you don't believe in yourself. So that is an indication for you to go back to realize your fears, your limiting beliefs and the old stories that you're telling yourself and working on them again and again and then going all in. So do believe in your potential. Do believe that what you want to manifest is a reality, that it's possible, that you're capable of having and holding these things, holding that abundance and having that dream partner and, and house and job. Everything is possible for you. You're worthy as you are, you're enough as you are. And having those things is part of who you are. Because remember, you don't manifest what you want, you manifest what you are. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned anything at all, don't forget to like this video and also leave in the comments below anything that you want to know more of manifestation or maybe something that you're struggling with when it comes to manifesting your desires so that I could create more videos to help you out. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos that are coming out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I'll see you soon with love, Mia. And now let's get manifesting, now let's get manifesting. Go ahead and get manifesting.